Hey everybody, this is Enyim here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Metro Prime. Right, so in the last video we uh, collected two additional Chozo artifacts, and we also collected one missile, no, one powerbomb expansion, and several missile expansions, clearing up Fendrana Drifts as far as I'm aware. I really hope that I'm not missing anything in Fendrana Drifts, because we won't be going back there otherwise for the rest of the game, so... <laughs> But anyway, now t now on to the main event. We're going to be uh, finishing up Magma Caverns in this video. Well, hopefully getting most of it finished up. I don't know if I'll get all of it done in this episode. I kind of want to make this one a short one too, if I can. Alright, so we got friggin' space pirates in here, so let's just take care of these real quick. <clears throat> so what we want to do, the first thing that I want to get taken care of is this up here. So we're just going to jump up to this, and right on top of the monitor station. And what you want to do is scan one of the red scans, which is, well, the only scan up here, apparently. And it will um, bring out the suspension bridge. No, it won't. You have to do this first. Hang on a second. Yeah, you have to use the boost ball slot to actually um, suspend the bridge so you can get across to the other side. And if you scan this, it will basically tell you that. Power restored. Suspension bridge operational. So now we can go to the outskirts of this room here along this along the cliff side and this will take you up to a door which will lead up to a chosen artifact and I want to get this as early as possible I, I think this was probably the best way to go about this because we're in like the central area where all the collectibles are if we went all the way in down to that uh, Chozo ruins elevator that leads to magma caverns the one that takes you all the way back to the very start like, we would have had to travel all the way through frickin' Magma Caverns just to get to this point, which would have sucked. So that brings us up to a total of five, I think. This is the Artifact of Strength. So I think for this guy, uh, this Chozo Elder, or whatever he is, Chozo dude, um, I think you have to do the same, possibly, I don't know. Get into his hand. Let's try and get in his hand and see if that does anything. Okay, no, it doesn't, right? Okay, well, my other assumption is that you have to use power bombs here, so we'll go ahead and use power bombs. And yeah, that's right. Okay, so you just drop down this hole here. And this should take you to a room with a power bomb expansion. Yeah it does. So that's another one right there. And that brings us up to a total of seven, right? No? Oh yeah it should do because we just used one dude, didn't we? Yeah we did. So do the power bomb expansions not give you your power bombs back? Or all of them back because in the last video I had six right when I picked up that one from Fendrana Drifts so that should have been a total of seven just now I don't know um, well if we do end up missing one then I will know about it because I'm gonna look up a list for it online just to you know double check so we want to go to the shore tunnel next because uh, this is where we're going to get the uh, Ice Beam Super Missile upgrade. And we're going to have to use another power bomb here too to destroy this bridge. Kind of brings you back to the old Super Metroid days, doesn't it? When we had to destroy the bridge um, in Brinstar that branches off to Meridia. So this is the Ice Beam Super Missile upgrade, which I believe is called the Ice Burster or something. Oh, it's Ice Spreader. That's what it's called. I never used this at all, like, this super missile upgrade, I never used it, same as the, as the flamethrower one. That's basically what it does, it just shoots a whole bunch of ice everywhere. Um, it can be useful on the final boss if you want to do extreme damage, but I rather keep, I'd rather save the missiles for the freaking wave beam form that he transpires into, or transforms into. Yeah, just use the, wave, just save your missiles for the wave beam part of the fight and just use the wave buster instead. Unless you're in a dire situation and you just want to keep spamming missiles then by all means go ahead. So is there anything el else out this way? I want to look for the twin lava room or the twin caverns, that's the one that I want to find. Twin fires, yeah. So we want to get to this area here because there's a Chozo artifact all the way out this way too. So we're going to make a little bit of a trek here. Ah, dude, <laughs> before I get burned to death, um, yeah, that was not greatly appreciated. 
Oh yeah, and with the grapple hook we can definitely make a huge shortcut here by grapple beaming onto the grapple hook thing. I'm going to use the super missile to take care of that. Screw that noise. Wasted time just trying to shoot him with power beam shots. So Twin Shores, here we come. Approaching it, uh, past the store it should be. Oh no, this is going to lead us up to it. Oh man, we got to go through the spider ball nonsense again. Okay, fine. Well, I'm just going to drop down here. Oh, okay, I dropped down too early, <laughs> too early, way too early. Holy crap! Yeah, I guess that's what you get for being impatient, I'm trying to blaze through things. I right, use the x-ray visor in here because I want to make sure that I know what I'm looking for. Well, you have to look at one of these pillars and inside one of the pillars there should be a chosen artifact that you can bomb out with um, super missiles and I think it's this one right here, isn't it? Don't tell me I'm in the wrong freaking room, right? Please don't tell me I'm in the wrong room. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Well, it's got to be the early room then. It's got to be the one that right at the beginning, because there's two lake rooms, and this is one of them. And the other one's like right at the very beginning, so it's all the way back here. I've got to go all the way through this to get to the lava lake. That's where it is. Oh, man, because they're two very similar rooms. Literally, they're both the same looking, and they both have la a lot of lava in them, so I thought it was this one, but it's not. Ah, oh, man. Okay, you know what, guys? I'll meet you in the Lava Lake room, and we'll get ourselves a Chozo Artifact, so bear with me a second. Alright, the reason why I'm resuming recording now is because I might as well get this along the way back to uh, the Lava Lake. Um, I don't want to come back. I don't want to go to the Lava Lake and then come back this way, because that really doesn't make any sense to do that. There is a missile expansion we can get in here, but we need the X-ray visor to do it. So you want to come to this uh, area here. And then you want to put your x-ray scope on. There's a bunch of invisible platforms here, as you can see. And I think you can make this. Yeah, you can, totally. All right, so yeah, jump from that platform and then to this one. And here, and then this is where you want to use super missiles to get rid of this. So just do that, and then there you go. Missile expansion acquired. All right, OK, so I'm still going to meet you guys in the lava lake, so hang on a second. <laughs> Well, I guess there really was no point in me making a cut, because uh, the lava lake was literally just right next door to the room we were just in, so... Where I got the missile expansion. Alright, so uh, I think it's in the other side of this room here, so... Just bomb these out, and... Please say it's in here, please. I don't want to have to come all this way for no reason. There it is! Alright, now use your super missiles to blow that open. Finally, alright, okay. Let's grab this before we get attacked by uh, the magma dude. So we got chosen artifact acquired, and this is which one? Artifact of nature, and uh, that pretty much totals uh, all our totals in magma caverns too. So we're done here. All right now, you can shut up, get out of my face, and lose your face at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess we'll go out this way back to Chozo Ruins, because Chozo Ruins is the next area that I want to clear out. And there's a lot of stuff we need to do in Chozo Ruins. Boy, is there a load of stuff we need to do there, so it would be nice to get that area cleared out. And then after Chozo Ruins is completed, we will be going back to Phazon Mines, I guess, to do the remaining stuff that needs to be done there. And then it's back to Talon Overworld and pretty much the end of the game. After that, so yeah, it's been a while since we've been through here. Well, I think I've only ever actually been down this way once in the entire Let's Play, so because you very rarely need to come back through this way, you, you very rarely need to take this elevator to go back to Chozo Ruins, but you know, it's just the way that I've done things in this playthrough, I guess. And that's why we're going back this way.
instead. Alright guys, I'm getting off the video here and we'll continue on next time. So that concludes this episode of Metroid Prime and concludes the 100% uh, completion of Magma Cabin. So in the next episode we're going to be making a start on collecting all the pickups that remain in Chozo Ruins. So until then, this is NDM Sen. Thanks for watching. Take care everybody. See you on the next video. And goodbye.